is it is your mom still there no no she's in the other room but I, I, i'm pretty sure if i open it her ears speaking <laughs> yeah i hear you laughing i hear you laughing <laughs> So today I'm with Giovanni Christoph. As we all know, hey, hey. <laughs> as we all know, Gio played um, Peter on Attaway General season three. So if you don't know him, now you do. So say hi, Gio. Uh, hey, hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about life on set. But first, Gio, I want to ask, um, did you think that Peter was a good boyfriend on Atari General? Peter, he was a good boyfriend. Oh no 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 no! I no, I don't think so. No, um, I mean, <laughs> he did have a little bit of like. I mean, he did care for them, but I mean, the way the way he treated him afterwards. I mean, he had a good heart, but he didn't he didn't fall through with. It. Yeah, he he has a good heart. I think he was, I wouldn't say confused. I think he actually knew what he was doing. Yeah, I think so too. He just he, he's a dog. He goes from left and right, left and right. So just, so in your opinion, yeah. he wasn't a good boyfriend because for me, he wasn't a good boyfriend, to be honest. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about um. Let's go into life on set. So. Um, how was life for you on set of Brad TV? Um, you you have also you have also been in, in other sets apart from Brad TV, right? Yes, um, uh, one on uh, Finding Love in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, that I haven't I haven't got the chance to see that movie actually. I don't ah, I don't know. Do you have do you have where I can watch it? Uh, I think it's on uh, something called a fixer. I, I think if you just search it up, uh, Finding Love in San Antonio on Google, yeah, uh, it'll pop up and you like because I'll, I'll try to find it and uh, I'll I, I got lucky. So. But um, set life on Brad TV, it was uh, really a fun experience. I uh, I stayed at um, at my uncle's uh, my, my uncle's house mm -hmm. and I slept on his uh on his uh on his bed mm -hmm. and i remember every every time i'll be on set like standing up when like, walking for like hours my back used to hurt because the bed wasn't uh it wasn't comfortable it wasn't uh it wasn't it so i would be standing in, in the hot sun while while uh, doing the scene while uh you know uh, uh talking to everyone and i'm and i like I needed I needed to sit down, and when I got back up, I'm like, ooh. And then when I uh when I had that like back, uh, not really pain, but like uh it was it was bothering me. Mm -hmm. I used that in the scene as uh as Peter, because because when Peter got really uh pissed in the in, in the fighting scene, like my back was hurting, so it, it was like the punch came out of my back, and went like, oh, oh my god, that felt good. <laughs> Just, just to bend a little bit, like an inch forward. And uh, no, but other than that, you know, meeting all the people, uh, I asked everybody, like, uh, how did you get into the into the business? Uh, and like a lot of them on purpose and some surprisingly uh, said that they came in on like accident. Like it wasn't intentional, like just uh, being around the, uh, you, know, you know, the aura of artwork and uh and uh filmmaking it's just a beautiful process okay so um and, uh, no, I, 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 yeah yeah so um basically i want to ask um on set um like do you remember uh the episode on ottawa general when on sissy's birthday you came in with a flower i want to know was that flower a a prop was it a prop yes it was Oh, it wasn't an actual flower. No, I I don't recall. I I, I don't think it was, I don't know if it was real or if it was. I I think I think it was a problem. I think it was. Yeah, because I, I wanted to know. I noticed that I noticed that up there, you guys use a 
mostly props for film for yeah. acting but like down down here in nigeria on set we use like actual stuff yeah for example for example no, down no, 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 no. for uh, cc's birthday i came with a balloon and, and a bear was that a balloon and a bear i thought it was a flower and a bear no 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 yeah no i came in with a balloon and a bear yeah the, the, those were the, those were props uh, oh. balloon and the bear oh they were props yeah. oh, oh yeah yeah okay but yeah. even uh, uh for example on chicken girls on chicken girls uh that's brat tv chicken girls i noticed that most of their their drinks are props like there's nothing inside it it's just an empty cup really yeah like i was wow. i i found that out uh while watching uh the bts so yeah. i noticed that most of most of what they use are props but like on sets down here in nigeria we use mostly we use real stuff yeah like most yeah. most of most of our, our directors here don't even know what a prop is like we use actual stuff ah. to make things real even the food no, even the foods are real definitely i mean uh once i mean when i make my uh, own little uh, uh play like short film and stuff i use i use real things i mean I, it's like me and my friends are like shooting each other but i'm not gonna bring real guns i mean i have like <laughs> my some nerf guns some like uh five dollar store done but uh no you gotta make it as authentic as possible and uh, i think uh brett tv uh, did a really good job yeah they did actually another thing i wanted to talk to you about is when you punch mm -hmm. the when you punch the in the series where you punch the travels how how did you guys how did you guys film that because that punch was really emotional like i i nearly cried i was like why why would peter punch punch travels in the first place yeah like that punch was was 100 percent. it looked real yeah so yeah and so, according to what yeah. i heard according to what i heard i heard that that particular scene you guys had to film it multiple times in order to actually get yeah get. yeah so like i think i think we filmed that punch maybe like two times because uh um you know uh, the production team didn't want like an accidental accidental um you know someone getting hurt yeah so um when i'm doing my little short films oh well, my friends i like got a lot of uh, experience with throwing like fake punches in punches and making it look real like sliding right across the, like like across the face without actually hitting them so when i was there i like i didn't even i wasn't yet i was not geo i was like scarface i, I was in i was in scarface i remember after uh, we, we uh we shot that scene i'm like <sighs> i was just like in scarface world Oh my God, where am I? And I literally, like, I don't remember uh, the, the, the punching scene because it just felt, I was, I was Peter. I was not Gio. Gio was, was not in there. And the, <laughs> and the funny thing is, is um, I think like on, on accident, I think uh, uh, Travis, no, no, I think it was Mer Merrick uh, hit Travis on his tooth, like a, <laughs> like, like, like a little bit. But I mean that that wasn't really it. I mean it was uh it, it was fun. And then um when we're on, on the floor like fighting, yeah, it yeah, was really goofy. And you see Doctor Henry like stop it, stop it. You just feel our our like limbs just, just flying yeah, everywhere. I, I saw that was really fun. I saw the BTS of that. That was actually funny. <laughs> yeah, because we're just on the floor like rolling around. That was the best part. That was the best part. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that 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 was that was cool. But like down down here in Nigeria, I don't we we don't actually throw you know we don't actually po throw punches. You yeah. know, like when we are doing a fight scene, we don't actually throw punches. I don't know how they do that with the with the editing and stuff. And so you know, mm -hmm. Br Brad TV, uh, Brad TV uh, team is actually really they are really good with VFX yeah. and stuff. So yeah. anyway, I'm moving on. So you you said you slept with your uncle. Yeah. Why filming? Yeah, yeah. Like 
can you tell me like your your routine your routine or oh, yeah. like so, the time you wake up and stuff to go yeah, to so, set um Actually, I just remembered it wasn't uh, my uh, uncle's bed that was uncomfortable. It was the, my uncle's futon. <laughs> so I would wake up with like, well, like my back just normal. I mean, and then uh, once I uh, I took a cold shower, uh, did my hair, that I've been red. Like before, I would I would uh, go on set. I would uh, come in with like very nice clothes. And people will people will think, oh, he's he's already ready. He, he already has his clothes on. But at the we were like, no, he has to he has to have a wardrobe change. Are you kidding me? And I'm like, but his hair his hair is already good. He already got his makeup done. No, he has not get his makeup done. He has to go get it now. So it was uh it was a really uh, really beautiful scene, the California sky in the morning, and uh, just uh, throughout the day. Uh, I would have, I would do my uh, online class, like, uh, like, like for four hours, do everything I needed to do. I even did like uh, future assignments. And then uh, when uh, it was uh, makeup time, I would be talking with uh, the makeup artists about uh, a Brad TV, um, like other plots that imagine if it happened, like, like, the, like if uh, Travis was with CC and a bunch of crazy like uh, other plots and no it was just uh, amazing just getting getting out of bed and uh, I, I went I came out of bed determined went to bed satisfied that was the experience yeah. that's cool that's cool so um you know, you said um you said something about um I wanted to ask you mainly about like your morning routine how which are i don't what time do you wake up to go to set like at six or seven wow like, like around seven like seven o'clock I'll, I'll wake up okay but well, when do you guys actually start around what time do you guys actually start filming filming uh well, of course everyone has like um their, their own schedule but like oh Maybe around, like, like it would be like I started maybe 12, maybe I started at 11, 8, maybe even like 2. So, so, so we would like, uh, the, the, depending on what, what they shot that day and what time. Oh, so like everybody doesn't like come on set all at the same time or at the same day you get. No, no, they, they just come for uh, what they're like, uh, what scene they're assigned. So if it's like a scene happens at 4 o'clock, they'll probably... Uh, to say maybe uh like 2 30 something oh oh yeah that's cool so you said you 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 school online yeah so uh it's, it's, it's the law that like kids are supposed to do uh school like for four hours uh on set so i would do a uh, school, school oh, four oh hours. Yeah, yeah 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 i think i think i've seen i've seen that i've seen that on brad uh sometime ago yeah. So, yeah. but but for you, do you actually go to like a normal school or you school online or you are homeschooled? Apart from no, I set. do. Uh, uh, um, I do online. It's called the uh, Florida Connection Academy. And last year, we tried to do auditions and uh, do acting at the same time, like auditions and uh, auditions in normal school. It does not it does not go well. <laughs> so. I had to take the sacrifice of not having the uh, high school experience, but uh, you know, great sacrifices come with uh, uh, great fortune. So, you know, all 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 the big guys they they've uh, uh, sacrificed uh, what food they they eat or um, all that good stuff. So, I mean, online school has been has been a, a good experience, uh, like discipline. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I, actually, I do go to an online school too as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I go to a school called um um UOP, uh, University of the People. I don't know if you've heard of it before. No, no, I've heard of it now. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so sorry. Hold on. Uh, I like the flowers in your head. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh. 
I just I just wanted to put that effect on there. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Yeah, thanks. Thank so um, back to live on set. Um, I wanted to ask um, like most of the scenes that you guys did, you guys did it together, or was it like, was it a multi, was it a multi cam setup? Um, a multi like camp different different cameras on different angle. Uh, no, no, like uh. Well, I, I don't I don't fully understand uh multi yeah. multi camera. Uh, you know, but, you know, basically, uh, according to research, when Brad started, when Brad TV started, like the chicken girls, money, back in the day, they use only like one camera to shoot their films. Mm. So they will have like they will have this actor do all his parts, then mm. they will like turn the camera to the other actor, have the actor do his own part but multi-cam yeah. is like you have different cameras in different angles sh shooting all the scenes at the same time so that you don't have to you know we shoot uh you don't have to start shooting different different actors in a different time you shoot all of them at once using like one camera for this person one camera yeah. for this person so that's multi-cam setup so was it a multi-cam setup or was it just one camera setup Oh no! Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a. Um, no, no, it, it wasn't a multi cam. Cause I remember, I remember just. Yeah, it, it was. It was on us when uh, we had our parts. It was on me. It was my turn, and CC when it was her turn. So yeah, it was. Uh, it's called single, right? Single cam setup. Yeah, so it can be sing yeah. called single. Yeah. Well, but but yeah, I, I could definitely uh, see. A multi cam setup and like saving a lot of time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what about the foods on set? The foods. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the the lunch break was heaven, cause it would. I think lunch break was around. Let me start. Like maybe like twelve thirty or something like that. And so we have like an hour of lunch. And I would be, everyone would like uh, sit in, the, in like their groups, and I'll be all the way at the corner. You you cut off. You cut off. Sorry. Uh, so uh, you yeah. So everybody. You sit. So like, they, I used to sit at, at at the corner. Why? Because I had this. I ha I have this thing where it's like what thing. Al, Al, Pacino, Al Pacino does this, where he's just in, 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 he is the character, and he's like in his own bubble, and he uh, really, really thinks and all that stuff. So while I'm eating, I will like rehearse my lines, and I would try many different ways. Do uh, you know uh, uh, Lawrence Olivier? Yeah. Yeah. So Lawrence Olivier, uh, he used to do a scene many different ways, a scene, little sad. And so I, I did that to the best of my ability. And people were looking at me because like, oh shoot, he, he's in the zone. Uh-oh, oh, it's lunchtime, aren't you gonna relax? I'm like, it's just, with, with, with me, I need, to, I need to be in that, in that space uh, while, while I'm on, I'm on set. But uh, but but def but definitely when I eat lunch, I used to uh, I eat lunch with everyone else and uh, talk about uh, we we talked about uh like oh my god we're like the superheroes in the MCU but we're in the BCU the Brat <laughs> Cinematic Universe <laughs> and we, just, we just had a lot of fun and then the food was delicious we had like um beef uh very oh. Pretty sure, at, yeah, at the wrap up party, like a uh, uh, like, like, like a like a guy with with a grill, and he made a lot of nice uh, tacos and quesadillas, and it, I think it was like Mexican food, and it was uh, it was very nice. It was very nice. We were all just uh, talking about uh, um, you know, like the, the future, like where you see yourself in a, in, in a couple years. Uh, we just talked about life. Talked about um, 
like man i mm. started off brat as like I, I had a mindset that I was like, I was kind of scared. I was kind of nervous. But then after I, I was done, I'm like, man, we're going to we're gonna really do something. And I can't wait to, uh, you know, uh, work with uh, many other um, uh, directors and actors. and Yeah, yeah, I get And I have a splendid time eating food with them too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um... Food on, food on set, food on set has to be, it has to be great because I think, uh, you know, uh, in the, in the, Indiana, she, she was part of Chicken Girl. So she did like, uh, a BTS stuff and, you know, show, show the, the fans around with cameras and stuff. So she showed us, uh, the food on set. That's on set. I don't know how it's, I don't know how the food on set of, um, the food on set of other original is, but she showed us the food on set of chicken girls. I think we had a uh, Jamaican food uh, one day. Oh, and it was it was some of the best food I've I've eaten. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was really good. So, what about what about your outfit? Did you pick that, okay. or did Brad pick that for you, like the, uh, down at the wardrobe? Uh, yeah. So we went to wardrobe. Uh, uh, they picked it out for me, the, just based on. I I like, loved I loved the leather jacket, dude. That that was leather, right? But I I wish I wish I I, I could keep it, man. It was, it was very <laughs> it was so comfortable, so comfortable. But yeah, they uh they uh, uh picked the outfit uh based on the character. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the outfit was cool, though. Yeah. Because it like. Oh no, no! Yeah, it was definitely uh, it was, it was like it was like a cushion to my back. It felt really, it felt really good wearing that on. Yeah. <laughs> a cushion for your back, that was really funny. Yeah. Okay. Um. What was your was your mom said throughout the whole like throughout the whole time? What, what happened? Was your mom said throughout the whole the whole time? Yes. Yes. Yes, she was. And uh. She would take uh, little pictures of, of like, um, of, of filming all that stuff, and there's like this one picture. Uh, I I don't know if she still has it, but I'm like I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> okay. No, but uh, yeah, she was uh, taking uh cool uh videos and pictures behind the scenes. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. So um, your mom is a pretty good actor. I noticed she's really she's really good. Have yes. she have she been on on like uh, any any films lately? No, but she could. <laughs> yeah, she, she could. I mean, who, I mean, who knows? I think in uh, in uh, Brad TV, I think her elbow shows or like the the back of her head shows because <laughs> when uh, when uh, you know the emergency with the earthquake. Uh, she was one of the, like the uh, the people that went to the hospital asking the doctors like, oh my God, what's going on? What's going on? And uh, she was like, she was like, yes, my head is in there. The back of my head is in there. Yes. <laughs> and when we were in uh, um, the the other film, well, Finding Love in San Antonio, we all went crazy because uh, in, in the soccer scene. Uh, uh, the parents are like rooting for all the all the kids, and then uh, uh, my mom she has uh, her famous jacket, uh, ye yellow jacket, uh, yellow leather jacket. We're like a leather family, it's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, so her yellow jacket showed on on the screen, like on, on like the side of the screen, side of the frame, and then her elbow showed like on the side of the frame, and she was like this. My famous yellow jacket is on the movie. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. You, you, like, you are really ready for for anything. <laughs> Thank you, man. No, it's, it's, it's an honor to be here. Yeah. And uh, ne next time, it's not gonna be an elbow or back of the head. This, this time, we're gonna see her face. <laughs> that's good. That's good, dude. That's good. So thank you, thank you so much for you know 
sharing sharing your experience your experience on set on set of Brad TV. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's really awesome, you know, to hear from you again. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, definitely. And I know you're a you're a big fan. You know, keeping oh, keeping a. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. A gigantic. huge one. A gigantic yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I love, I love Brad TV, to be honest. I love their series. I love, what I love most about Brad TV is, is, you know, seeing what, seeing what kids do. Seeing other, yeah. what other kids do. You know, yeah. we don't, you know, most countries don't have something like that. For example, here in Nigeria, we, we barely, we don't, we don't have something like that. So, seeing other kids do it. Is it like all adults? Hmm? Is it like all adults? Like all adults? Yeah, mainly adults, but just you know, they pick like few kids for. But we don't like have like a kids, you know, kids movies and so and stuff. Yeah. Just like Brad TV or Nickelodeon does. So it's mm-hmm. it's amazing seeing what you guys are doing. You know, seeing what kids are doing. It's it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. And and it's it's not easy. So just just keep doing, just keep doing what you're doing. Man, seriously, I would I would like to see you back on Brad, to be honest. See oh you, yeah. Like see you see you on another series on Brad. Hey, I have a question for you. What would you like to see from Peter? Like if uh if he was on any, any show, Crown Lake or uh, Chicken Girls or like mm. what would you want to see? What would you like to see? Um from what I would like to see is um, you know, Peter, Peter is like, he's a cool kid. Mm-hmm. Like he's really cool. Um, I would like, to, although he made he made some amends to his mistakes, his mistakes are on other ways in our But I would like to see him on other series, for example, like on Crown Lake. But you know, Brad TV mainly uses like, if you have a character, you would you would use that character in up to like other series mm. like for example you know um rhyme rhyme does um mm. uh juice juice love blank oh yeah uh um what's it called? what's it called um benny and uh skylar skylar and and roxy they came from uh crown they, lake yes they, they came from they came from crown lake so that's what i'm trying to say so if you if you were to be Peter, like for example, if you were to be Peter in in Crown Lake, uh, you know, I would like to see the good the the good side. In other words, you know, I didn't see I didn't actually see the good side of Peter. Yeah. What I saw was was what I saw what I saw was I, I saw I, in other words, you know, I just saw a rich kid. Yeah. A spoiled rich kid actually. That was, that's so yeah, yeah, it would be nice, like mature. Yeah. But 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 then, but the, but then the thing is, he's the one that brings the drama. So <laughs> it will be like the character, the character development will be like, he's he's like he's very very mellow. He's like trying to get better. But there's some instances where he's he's getting really bad. He's going up to Peter and boom, he does something terrible. And when he want, and then when he as soon as he understands that he messed up he can't go back he goes back to his terrible theater mm. Mm. That'll, that'll, that'll be something fun fun to play yeah something something just came to my mind you remember the scene um where um that scene when you guys filmed on other way you know that you know um, merrick merrick bought uh, uh bought tickets he bought tickets for cc merrick. yeah yeah, yeah, Edward. Edward bought tickets Edward. for CC. Uh ticket to a concert. And you were like, Thanks, man. I've been trying to buy these tickets, but they were sold out. Actually, in real life, what would you have done in that situation? Would you let Merrick take your girlfriend out? Man, that's <laughs> hey, us there's some guys out there that you don't know what's on their mind. I know. I, uh, why? Why? Uh, I rem- why? No, I'm asking. I'm. I want to know your own opinion. 
I want to know opinion. yes what you think because a lot of guys have been arguing that some people was like no some people was like yes you know it's a friend a friend stuff but from from the series we know that we we from the series i think that edward wasn't trying to just be sissy's friend no he was not trying to be just sissy's friend yes so if you were in that situation if you if you were actually peter in real life what would you do would you, would you let edward take sissy out well the question is if i was edward and i took cc to, the, to that concert and i was there she loves she loves the concert i would make my move of mm. uh, take the hand around her that's that's what i would do if i was edward now in peter's standpoint i think he had he had the right like decision but he didn't have the the right mindset he now I wouldn't. I wouldn't. If it, if it was like, if, if it was you, if it was you that uh that bought concerts, of course, of course, because I, I would, I would, I would, I would trust you. But like Edward, he was, he has something, he has something going on. <laughs> no, don't trust yeah. me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause, cause I would, I would. I would take CC off your hands, man. If, if you know what, if, you know what, you just you just uh brought me another question to you. <laughs> if if you weren't on Brad, what show would you want to be, and what would you want to play? Hmm. Actually, I want. I would like to play myself. The interviewee, not use the interviewer. Yeah. <laughs> I would want to play myself. Myself, actually, yeah. but but mostly, to be honest, I would love to be in Chicken Girls. And I will also want to be in um have you heard of um deaths? Deaths. There's there's an episode called Deaths. Uh, a series called Deaths. Like they ride on motorbikes and stuff. Oh no no no. No, 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 no. Oh. Then also I would also like to be on Atoway General. Reason mm-hmm. reason reason is because reason is because I, I like helping people so Saving you, lives. You, you could, uh, you, you could be a, a a doctor, a surgeon, or something. Mm, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Awesome. So that. Hey, at all, all, yeah, out of the way, hospital. We got some. We got some good food cooking for you. Some good <laughs> food and some good drama. <laughs> and some good bandages. Food. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> In case, in case the, the hot food burns your tongue, you know, you gotta always have a bandage. Mm. Do you remember um the scene out, uh, the hospital shed? That's the shed at the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Where was that actually filmed? Like, what did they use as the shed? Well, uh, it was um, you know, it's a straight hallway. Mm. There's a, a the room that uh. No, I, I walk in uh, behind um, Roxy. Uh, there's that room, and then uh, and then right behind it, there's like another room, and that that's the, that's what they use as the shed. Mm. And it's it's amazing to see like how they just transform all these rooms. You know, you know, really. what and for the for the earthquake for the earthquake scene, they shake all the walls to make it have the earthquake effect. Oh. Was that how they did that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought that was you know editing effects and stuff. Uh, yeah, of course, some of that too, and then uh, you know, what's crazy is there was one day like like you no know, you know the main like uh like office where like the person takes all the calls and right next yeah, to yeah, them yeah, yeah. like the reception. In that yeah, in that room. One day I walk in. Uh, it was in the morning. I walk in. Empty room. Four hours later, after I'm done with all my online class, mm. it's filled with cameras, people, the, mm. all the props are there. Everything is there like this. It's amazing to see. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So anyway, uh, thank you, Jill, for for joining me. It's it's an honor. Of course, man. It's it, an honor to be it, on here too. 
Is it is your mom still there? No, no, no. She's in another room, but I, I, I'm pretty sure if I open it, her ears speaking. <laughs> yeah, I hear you laughing. I hear you laughing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> your mom is a vibe keeper, bro. Yeah. I I love I love how she's always she's always popping <laughs> popping on popping on yeah. her, on your camera. Bro. She's like. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But like, so like sometimes, uh, she she is the mastermind behind everything. But if I like mess up on on, on something, she's like, "Well, oh well, actually, um, I mean, oh yeah, this blah 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 blah." <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. Uh, anyways, blah 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 blah. Oh, but oh, you forgot this too. It is like, it's like, uh, she's she's trying to replace the little missing pieces of the puzzle, and it's um, it's so circle to watch yeah it's cool peace and love from the states <laughs> nigeria <laughs>